Hi and welcome to another issue of Academic Virtues. What to look for in others and what you can do better yourself. And today's virtue is courage. Now, there's all kinds of different levels of courage. It starts with you know, getting the courage to speak up in a lab meeting or to ask a question at a conference or going up to a poster where somebody's presenting something at a meeting. And it ranges all the way to challenging a current scientific paradigm or theory. All of these things and everything in between takes courage because it means you're going outside of your comfort zone and you are running the risk. The risk of embarrassment, at least in your mind, or the risk of just being wrong. And admitting to be wrong also takes courage. Some other examples. Believing in your research idea, even when you initially get negative feedback from your colleagues or co-workers, takes courage. Starting a new research line takes courage because you don't know the language that well, you don't know the methods all that well, and you don't know what's maybe really all that important. What all of those have in common is they, that they entail risks. Of course, otherwise it wouldn't be requiring courage to do it. And so there's the risk of failure, the risk of personal embarrassment, uh, the risk of being wrong, the risk of alienating people. And so these are sort of the things that hold many back from taking these risks. But of course, there are also positive sides. Of course, there is the there is the possibility that you're right, and then you know there is a, a great opportunity for you to develop a whole research line or to pursue a whole uh, research idea if you only believed in it in the beginning. And with that come, of course, success and recognition and personal satisfaction and many other things. So I think courage is. Um, important ingredient. It's an important virtue. I don't think everything that you do needs to be courageous, but I think that there should be a good mix between things that follow the current standard or that are the current state of the art. And then every once in a while, I think it's important to take that path that includes more risk, just because of the immense opportunity that awaits.